Hello my lovelies! So we are doing a hairstyle today. Um, I saw the uh, preview pictures, I guess, of this upcoming season's Game of Thrones. Um, this is not going to be listed under a GOT hairstyle, however, because it is not going to be a GOT hairstyle. It is just where I took my inspiration. Um, they had some of the uh, photos of Arya, now that her pixie shag deal is growing out a little bit, they have started to fix her hair differently. Um, so I saw the picture and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is so super cute. But, you know, she's got like this much hair to work with and we have feet more. So I, I'm using that look as a starting point and then completely changing it. Yay! This is how my brain works. I, anyways. So uh, what you're going to need today are uh, perhaps some clear hair ties, uh, whichever, I guess, hair ties you prefer, and a lot of pins. A lot. We're going to use a lot of pins. A lot of pins. Um, I got the big thing of it. So, any hoodles. Let's just get started. Um, yay! So, yeah, any hoodles. I saw the picture, and it was cute, and I'm so glad that, you know, Maisie Williams finally gets a hairstyle, which she hasn't had since, like, season one, because, you know, she's been a boy masquerading as one, so... She's just been having to rock the short hair. Thank goodness she has those big, beautiful eyes because the short hair looks really cute on her, actually. But, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to switch it up every now and then. So, um, yeah, uh, we are actually going to go with natural part as much as kind of possible just because hair behaves better. I'm just going to straighten mine up a little bit. Yeah. All right, and I'm basically going to split this down the middle so we kind of have even on both sides, although I'm going to try and make it so we don't have, you know, the hard line. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out and away to keep it out of the rest of my hair, just so we can do one side at a time. Um, all right, so basically what we're going to do is make um, four buns. Four? Can we get four? Yeah. Four buns, but not complete buns. We're leaving hair out. Um, all right. So that'll be our first one. We're going to pull up and over. We want to try and make them. It feels like they're going to be relatively even. Okay. So basically all we're going to do is tie knots and pin them. Don't panic. Uh, <laughs> just want to make sure I'm relatively smooth. All right. I want you to take two fingers, put them behind like this, and twirl once. Shove your thumb up in there. Grab. Pull it through. And then... That's it. You see this? We have a little knot. Pin it. <laughs> now, you're going to look. I'm using these really, really big pins, but all of these pins will be covered. I promise. So, I'm going to just go ahead and pin it so it'll stay down. Like so, as you can see. We can see the pin in the back. Leave the hair down. That's it. That's our first bun. We're going to do three more. Another bun. Pin, and then I'm going to do the other one, another bun and pin. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this exact same thing on this side, and then I'll be right back so that this video doesn't last forever. Okay, back in a sec. Alrighty, guys, if you would like, just stop here. Because it's really cute already. Um, I'm not stopping here, but I just wanted to give you the option. Um, you can see it'll eat up quite a bit of length. Uh, my hair is usually here. So, uh, we're all the way up to the tailbone. Um, yay! I don't know. Um, this one might be a pretty one for your little girls. Uh, any hoodles? Um, that's an option. Sorry, I'm having camera issues today. 
Uh, any hurdles? Uh, next. Step. So, uh, we should have eight of these little buns. All of mine are held with one bobby pin. Um, so if you are going to leave it like this, reinforce. Add a couple more just to make sure. Um, any hoodles. So, um, it's fine. One. We should have four tails on each side. There's our fourth. Awesome. So, um, I'm actually going to start with the back one. Um, and I'm going to English braid. I'm going to English braid the back one. I'm going to rope braid the third from the front. I'm going to English braid the second one, and I'm going to rope braid the first in the front. So four braids per each side. Now, if you would like to do all English braids, do all English braids. If you would, oh, I got a knot, sorry. Um, Winter's been bad for my hair now. I got it. Okay, <laughs> like I was saying, four braids per side. Um, I am alternating between um, English and rope because I just want some variety. Um, but if you would like all rope braids, fine. All English braids, fine. Whatever braids you're wanting. So let me get on my braiding gen and then I'll be back. Okay, back in a Alrighty, guys. We should have all these braids. Eight braids for eight little bitty buttons. All right, I'm going to end up doing the same thing on both sides so that, um, yeah, anyways. So what we are starting with is the back two braids. Back two, these two, these two English braids to bring this all together, cross them over. Okay, now you're gonna take the braid that's in your hand, um, which will be the furthest one on the left. And we count my buns. Okay. We're going to bring it underneath these two, which means when you bring it through, it should come behind this in the front. So let me one, two, up and around. And then you should hit two braids. We're going to come around. Go underneath these two, back up. We're basically, we're doing a figure eight here, you guys. Figure eight. Make sure this is going this way. Bring it back underneath, and then we're going to, actually, you can probably just bring it around and tuck it up under here. So let me get my mirror so I can see my pattern is the way I want it. It is, okay. <laughs> This is one of those that, you know, it's a trial and error, I suppose, but basically it's, you want to make sure, and I'm just going to take all of the ends, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a pin right here, so my braid doesn't move on me, pin it right up into them buns, and I just need to hide my tail, which I'm just going to wrap around and hide. Underneath this braid here in the front, and I'm going to add a pin here. To keep it down. Keep it from moving. Alright. Same thing on the other side. Which I know you guys can't see, but, you know, bear with. It's figure eight again. That's all we're doing. Up and around. Down underneath. Back up and around. Left bun. Make sure. All right. This is one where I really need. Where are we? Oh, I've got like a tip. Oh, I see. It didn't stay up. Oh, I need to put a pin up here to hold my figure eight intact. Da da da. All right. Pinage. I'll be right back to go with the next braid. Right. Um, I'm just going to give you an FYI. Your tails may not always tuck the same on both sides. For example, this one was nice, came up and tucked around. This one didn't want to, so I just brought it along the top and tucked it behind braids. Um, it's the tails. If you have very small tails, you're not going to have to worry as much, but if you have kind of long ones like me, you just have to tuck it where it'll tuck. <laughs> A lot of tucking. 
So, um, any <laughs> next one is uh, the ropes, the rope braids. Uh, this portion of this hairstyle is really up to you. I mean, you can do these little danglies like this if you want. So you have those little, you know, um, loops if you want something kind of fancy, whatever. I'm doing mine all up, so it's like I'm not worried about that. Um, but I'm just telling you, you have options. Like you can make it super duper fancy if you so desire. Truly, it is up to you. Um, I'm actually taking mine under and going around everything on this side. And ending up on top. But of course, I'm going to have to reinforce with pins. I told you at the beginning, this was going to be a style that had a lot of pins, and I wasn't joking. Now, see, my tail's over here, I'm not going to mess with it yet. Just going to add a little pin here. I'm going to add one here too, so it stays in the curve the way I want it to. doesn't pop up. won't guess on me. Okay, same thing with the other side. I'm bringing it around, and I'm going down underneath, and coming up around. And see, this is why we don't worry about these yet. So we can pull this down under here, and put this one over top. I do have a little bit sticking, but that's nothing a pin won't fix. Okay. And more pins. So, that's what we've got so far. So, two braids left. And, of course, you can do whatever you'd like with those. Um, got a lot of stuff going on. So, let's see. Next. Looks a little flat, doesn't it? We can fix that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use these ones. And I'm going to make a couple extra buns, sort of. Just a couple of loops as it were, like literally loops and pen. Just to give us a little more volume, I guess. Um, literally, loop, pen. First same thing on the right. I'm not worried about it being, um, you know, super duper, uh, even on both sides, um, it is, you know, a bit of a, a messy hairstyle, but all you guys keep sending in all these hairstyles and all these messy braids and all that stuff. So here's the messy one for you. I hope you like it. <laughs> it's hard for me, the messy ones. They kind of go against like every fiber of my being. <laughs> I like things smooth, but you know, what have you. Just trying to keep y'all happy. All right, I should have a little tail stick it out. Oh, that gave us some, some movement, etc. That actually looks pretty cute. Um, tails, tails, I got tails. We are left with two English braids. Um, looking at one of my little buttons is popping out up here, so I'm going to have to pin that down. But um, it's pretty busy. I see a lot of pins showing, but that's me and my craptastic pinning skills. Um, it doesn't look bad. It looks interesting. I mean, hey. Uh, but I'm just going to um, finish this up, I guess. Uh, I see what we're going to do with these. I think we're going to end up crossing them over in the middle, uh, like so. And what I'm going to do is pin down anything 
but it's sticking out a little longest for me just because you know I, I have something in my head and I want it to look like it does in my head which you know happens Lots of bobby pins, you guys. I mean, so many bobby pins. All right, bring this up and over to this side. Get my ends all tucked. Pin. We have it. Um, this is what it ends up looking like. It's definitely not going to move anywhere. Um. It is a bit messy. Uh, it does look that way. I could probably use a pin right there. Um, but, you know, we have lots and lots and lots of hair. This is going to be one that if you have less hair, you know, it will not look quite as messy. Um, you can get really super intricate with this if you want to. I mean... You know, we did wraps and figure eights and things like that. I added some loops just for some visual interest because it was looking boring to me. Um, yeah, but uh, it's a nice one because it has many steps and it's a lot to play with. Like, you can just do the little buns and leave the rest hanging down. Um, if your hair is only so long, then just do all the little buns and be done with it. Um, or, you know, like I said, you can do loops with some of those braids if you want. Um, you can get really crazy with different designs. Um, I was pretty much just want mine to be really sort of compressed and up, but I still wanted it to be sort of crazy looking. Um, it is crazy looking, uh, but I don't think it's not pretty. I think it's still pretty. It's just, it's different. It's not something you see every day. It's definitely not going to move. There are a lot of pins in here, but it's not uncomfortable because it's really, really dispersed. So it's not uncomfortable. It does kind of feel like a hat, though, having all your hair just right there. Um, but I don't know. I think it's cute. It's cute. And if you want to fatten up all these braids, it can get really sort of big and boho chic or whatever. But, uh... I'm too old for boho chic, you guys. <laughs> Any hoodles? Um, uh, I have to go run some errands and stuff, so I will see you guys next time. Um, incidentally, if you're watching this now, please join me on March 14th at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, U.S. Time. Um, I say I should have something that says what that breaks down to everywhere else. But that's math, and you guys know I'm really, really bad at math. Like, I can't add or subtract or anything remotely. I second-guess myself and then give you a wrong answer, even though I had the right answer to begin with, but I don't think it was. Anyways, so you guys can do that yourselves. But um, I'm going to do a live chat. Um, it should be up already in your subscription thing that we're doing a live chat. So... Yeah, we're going to try that. Even though I've had so many people already call in, they're like, oh, I won't be home, sorry. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I have it scheduled for an hour. It might only be 30 minutes. So, I don't know. I've never done one, so this is kind of a trial run, and we'll see how it goes. So, any hoodles, um, I will see you then. Until next time, have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye.